to wake up, you're going to wake up. And if you're not ready, you're going to stay pretending that you're just a little, poor little me. And uh, since you're all here and engaged in this sort of inquiry and listening to this sort of lecture, I assume that you're all on the process of waking up. Or else you're teasing yourselves with some kind of uh, flirtation with waking up, which you're not serious about. But I assume yeah, maybe you are not serious but sincere, that you are ready to wake up. So then, when you're in the way of waking up and finding out who you really are, what you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. I have an hour and a half drive to a meeting going into the city, so I got some time to kind of internalize things that I've been thinking about lately and talk about it. Something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and that's been, I guess, having a negative impact on your life is thinking about or not thinking about the beauty in everyday mundane routine life you know I wake up in the morning I go to the gym I go to work and after work I come home and because of that routine every single day day in and day out that's not necessarily exciting every single day I don't do the creative work that invigorates me and I might end up just watching like YouTube videos or, or Netflix or whatever I struggle with finding the beauty in that routine every day because it leaves me uninspired. But what I've been thinking about lately is thinking of my routine every day in that mundane every day as a investment into who I want to be in the future. In thinking about how important it is to have a routine because if you don't have that everyday routine one I feel like you don't really take for you take a lot of things for granted if you're traveling all the time or if you're uh, living lavishly all the time and having these crazy experiences uh, but two it, having a routine cements you into being a more solid human uh, so what I mean by that is like I work out every single day and that's for me to be in better physical condition so that I feel better, I perform better because if I feel good or if I look good, I feel good. But having that routine if I'm traveling all the time or if I'm doing crazy things all the time is really hard to do. Same with going to work. I, I think I speak for most people that if every single day going to work, if you have a nine to five especially, isn't inspiring every day. There are a lot of days where you kind of just feel like you're doing it, you know, administrative work or you're not doing work that's to the best of your potential and that can have a damper on on your mental and your your mental well-being and your soul and it just kind of dumbs you down a little bit. But what I found is that that every single day putting in a little bit of extra work when I go to work in my professional life is an investment into who I want to be in my professional future. And I'm lucky where I have a job that is kind of in line with you know who I want to be professionally. So I'm able to you know put in that work and understand that okay, well this small amount of work I'm putting in every single day is going to have a benefit into my professional future. I've also found myself not wanting to do the things and being the person I want to be because of the everyday routine and I kind of fall victim to that. What I mean is because of the everyday, you know, waking up, going to work and coming back that when events do come up in the in the evening that I would normally want to go to, I fall trapped to, man, I just, I don't feel like going. I've had a long day, I'm tired, and then regretting it later. And pretty much 95% of the time I regret not doing activities or going to events that I would have had fun at or would have benefited me. 
So now I'm trying to be more intentional in the things that I do and understand that I need to push myself to do the creative work, to go out and go to these events because I know that it's gonna make me happy ultimately. I don't know how many times it's happened where you know you get invited to go out and you're like, man, I really don't wanna go out right now. I don't wanna hang out with these people. But then you go out and you have an awesome time. Because we, I think humans are self-sabotaging in that way. They want to be comfortable and not want to put in that little bit of extra work to just go out or get ready or do whatever. So I'm challenging myself to do that work, to when I come back from work, to force myself to start working on those YouTube videos. Or if I'm going to go out and do photography, find places in that town that I don't find very exciting to find exciting spots in that town or if there's an event going on like go to that event no matter what and I think that means having friends and family and significant others that can hold you accountable in in doing those things and if that means you know they, they call you and they ask you you know you have you been have you been doing this or if there's an event instead of being like nah I think I'm gonna stay in today you know they be like, you know, I need your help to, to push me. So I'm gonna start trying to hold myself more accountable. I'm gonna try to be more intentional in the things that I do in my creative work and in my social life. And I challenge you guys to do the same. Did I take off my turtleneck and leave it in the bathroom and throw it away? Yeah. True. <laughs>